What is happening folks? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for me down below with the notification bell turned on so you know when I upload any brand new videos. If you guys love the content you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and drop a like on it for me. And as always guys, flood that comment section down below. Now before we hop into it guys, I'm gonna let you know that today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box. Now, if you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, let me explain. Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly fishing subscription for anglers like you and I, and of course, my buddy Jason that's with us today, where they send a box just like this to your door full of fishing goodies each month. It's like Christmas 12 times a year. I love it, and one of the greatest things I like about Mystery Tackle Box is that it's like $40 to $50 worth of lures inside this box for a fraction of the cost, and of course, it's a great way to discover new and innovative baits. So if you guys wanna get a box just like this, I have a link down in the description below. Make sure to click on it, sign up. You can get your first Mr. Tackle Box for as little as $10 using my code GENNATV at checkout. And of course, guys, it is my favorite time of the month where I get to do one of these videos for you guys. I can break this open, show you what's inside, and of course, I like to give one away to the people that are watching my channel. Now, if you wanna win a box just like this, you have three easy steps to follow. One, you gotta be subscribed with that bell turned on so you know when I upload the next video announcing the winner. You gotta drop a like on this video as well, and of course, in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite lure out of this box was, and and that'll be the way to enter the video to win yourself a mystery tackle box. Now, with all that being said, guys, you can see behind me, we are uh, on the boat. Jason's back there from Get Bit TV. And uh, you can see we're bundled up. I got a jacket, got a beanie. We're, it's, it's cold, it's rainy. Uh, is this ideal time to be fishing out in the lake? Probably not, but guess what? We're doing it anyways. Um, we are uh, at a lake that I have uh, not really been successful at, but, we're gonna we're gonna keep running it, guys. We're gonna go through with it, and I, I will say this: this is a disclaimer. I cannot guarantee that I'm gonna catch a fish, but I'm still gonna upload this video. Um, I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out the pattern of these fish during this time to see if they pushed up or not, and uh, if it's gonna start that pre-spawn pattern. And that's kind of our goal today. Um, over the past week, it's been in the 70s. It's gotten a little warmer, so we believe the fish started to push up, but. Last night we had a lot of tornado storms and now it's like low 40s. So we don't know how warm the water is or how cold it is. We know nothing, but we're gonna try our best. Like I said, Jason's with us, we're gonna get on the boat, but uh, I'm cold right now. So I think we're gonna do, we're gonna get everything taken care of on the boat. We're gonna get launched in the water and I will see you guys on the chest cam. All right guys, we're on the boat. Trolling through right now, I'm trying to work the sonar, but see what's in the box. What is this? <laughs> Carl's face. Nice. I'm going to wear that later when I catch a fish. But uh, here's what you get in the box, guys, uh, for this month. This is what they sent me. We have a nice little Ema lipless crank. That's going to be pretty nice out here. I know that this is going to match the hatch of all the shad that's in this lake. So that'll be pretty good. We also got a freaking nice. Got a cycle bait and 10,000 fish. One of my favorite little underspins. Um, this is going to be clutch as well. It's got great movement. We got, what is this thing? This is a Lunker Hunt Easy Prey. This is like a little, I don't know what that is. It's like a little, uh, like a swim bait, but it it swims flat. I don't know. We might use that. Don't know if they're shallow at all. They might be a little deep. We got some little Biwa Scorpa tails. I guess they're like little fish or little uh, flukes. Those might be good uh, if we have to use drop shot today. Got some lizards. Nice. I could always use lizards and then we got oh god I'm just gonna start putting stuff to the side we also have uh, some egg zone adrenaline bugs these are the four and a quarter it's a pretty nice color maybe we can get those on a jig today um maybe we'll see we have to see what the pattern is but we're gonna throw some of the stuff i also brought a second mystery tackle box with me with just a bunch of lures from other mystery tackle boxes that we're gonna use so you'll see me break open some of these boxes um throughout this little trip here and use some stuff but uh, we got lots of stuff to use so i'm pretty excited this thing is i don't know what this is maybe if we catch a fish i'll take a picture of it so it's starting to rain on us a little bit so i think we're ready to head out you ready all right, we're about to get it. So I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'll see you guys at the first spot. All right, well, guys, we're at our spot. Finally, F***ing cold, excuse my language. I'll probably bleep that out. Oh, I'm soaked from head to toe. And it's like 30 degrees out here. So. I 
gloves weren't soaked. I think that's the worst. Oh yeah, yeah, inside my pockets, everything <laughs> is wet. Oh no. I mean, I like what I see, but at the same time, like, it's not seeing any bait. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it is a new day. We are off the lake. Thank God. Um, <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm happy to be off the lake. Guys, it was freaking miserable um, out there. It was like in the mid to, to high 30s. The wind was like 20 plus. The waves in the lake, we had almost like two and a half, three foot swells. So every wave we hit on the freaking boat came up and hit me. I was soaked from uh, balls to toes. It sucked um, bad. So um, yeah. But uh, anyways, like I said, it's a new day. We're out here uh, on, the, on the water again, but except we're in the neighborhood pond. Uh, we got some rigs uh, set up here. It is still windy. Um, I want to let you guys know it is still cold. It is still winter time right now, okay? Um, we are at the end of March. A few days, it's going to be April. And it's still, it's still 39 degrees, if you guys can see that. 39 degrees right there. It's cold. It's windy, but I am a little bit more bundled up. Got boots, got pants, got thermals, got a hoodie, got my beanie or scully or toboggan, whatever you guys call it, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have much else. I maybe, I hope I didn't sound like I was complaining, but I'm happy to be out fishing again, so. Oh my God, it is cold. <laughs> uh, super windy, I'm sure you guys can see by the water. It's blowing this way east into this pocket. Um, yeah, my hands right now, guys, are freezing. I'm glad I bundled up, other than gloves. I'm gonna try to get out and go fishing again. I'm also gonna try to get out to um, our new house and see, you know, what it looks like. Obviously with the weather the way it's been, I, I can't imagine if they've done a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of, um, whatchamacallit, a whole bunch of uh, work. But there's a, there's a, oh, that fish just chased it. Okay, we just had a, we just had a follow. That's good. That's good. Let's get back in this little part here. But anyways, um, I can't imagine them like working because of the weather. But there's a little pond, like a little lake. That's I'm going with, uh, going with a little mini recon here, guys. Uh, it goes three to six feet. I'm going to try to disturb some of the ground down there, maybe bump a fish. Um, but it's also small enough to um, hopefully entice that little fish that kind of came up on that uh, lipless crank. Because he, he was he was pretty small, I'm not going to lie. He was a small fish. So um, maybe we give him something he can actually chew on. Hopefully we get hopefully we get something on this. And then if not, we'll move over to the other pond, guys. But um, another thing, again, you know, to, to keep in mind, winter time, while it's cold, water's cold, reds, reds are a good color. Uh, yeah, I, I love reds winter time, especially with this kind of water right now. I would still use like a black and blue, but um, but I do have I do have this, the jerk bait. Depending on what the other pond looks like, I might throw this on and see if we get reaction out of that. So whew, it's cold. All right. Obviously, this isn't as heavy <laughs> um, as, as that lipless. All right, there we go. Hitting the bottom. Yep, we got one. Look at that. First cast on that. We got it. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's... This is a good one. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. I told you guys. Right off the rip. Right off the rip. Look what we got. We got him right there. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to... I don't want to get stuck 
this is a good sized fish i'm very surprised and happy that um there is a <laughs> fish this big still in this pond not gonna lie because i have not seen a fish out of this pond like this let me uh Whew, there we go guys nice i know it doesn't do any justice right there but here's a solid winter fish literally first cast we change it up to that red color right um, just because you downsize your presentation doesn't mean um, big fish won't bite clearly i mean this is probably a little two pounder nothing wild but i mean that presentation i felt it tugging um, and digging into the ground ticking off the bottom and it goes to show you you know this i mean you, you you have to adapt with what you have you have to adapt with what you're working with it's still in the 30s right now so the water's freezing this fish is cold but let me get a uh let me get a picture guys right here um down below instagram all right guys one last look at our bass there boom let's let this guy breathe let's let him go solid little guy there it goes awesome oh my god that is freaking awesome guys i'm not gonna lie i have not caught a fish that good in this pond in a while so to know that that fish is still in here is is awesome um yeah so good i'm surprised that we got something out of here i'm glad we did uh maybe we'll try it again maybe we'll get on that uh we'll get on that uh, whatchamacallit that recon and see if we can get on it again let's freaking go all right guys we made it to the other pond um <laughs> the wind is kind of in our face right now so that's sick but we're gonna try it out the water's not super treated right now so it's kind of like natural like dark standish color <clears throat> which isn't bad so the red can be good definitely throw uh like black and blue some like dark colors in here Oop. There it is. I do have a fish. I barely felt him. <laughs> Alright, little dude. This is how we get hooked. <laughs> there we go. Bigs only. Bigs only. One last look at our tyke. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's super active. He's gone. There we go. Of course, now the wind comes. That's dope. <laughs> Oof, my hands. <sighs> Dude, my freaking tips are freezing. Maybe it's time to switch over to the freaking, <laughs> to the right-handed reel. That way I can, I can switch the temperature of my fingers. Yep, here we go. There we are. Nice. There we go. <laughs> My hook set. My left handed hook set. Oh, nice. There we go. Little guy. Nothing crazy big. But there we go. A uh, little Sakoshi bug action. One last look at our guy again. There he goes. He's off. Sweet. So let me warm my fingertips up really quick, guys, and we'll get back out to fish. All right, guys, we took the uh, jerk bait off. We got our red about there. Nice red crawl color. I think it's going to be, oh, should be really good <laughs> right now. We can work this any way we need to. So hopefully. Oh, here we go. So I'm not gonna lie. A nice hot Dunkin' coffee sounds of fire right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, I felt that one. He ain't big. <laughs> you got that on the pause. 
Got that on the paws. He's a little bit bigger. Skinny guy. But this is how you get hooked. Okay, guys. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not trying to get hooked. <laughs> Anyways. There we go. Yeah, he freaking definitely wanted that. So I think we I think we did pretty good. Maybe I know I said one more fish, but I think I might keep going. But there we go. Let's let our guy go right here. Nothing crazy. He's ready to go. There you go, buddy. So yeah, swim off. All right, guys. Um, normally I would be doing this outside, but the cold is so unbearable right now. Like the wind chill factor, it's bringing it like the temperature drop. So. Uh, with the wind chill factor, it's below 30 degrees right now. I can't do it. My hands are, are hurting, so I'm in the car right now. Hopefully, it's not too loud with the air on, but I had to get warm. So, um, today was good. It, it was way better than being on the lake. Um, now, the way the weather was today with it being that cold um, was the same as it was on the lake, but then just add getting soaked by the, by the water, and it made it, it, it was terrible, so... But yeah, no, it was a really good day, guys. Um, we were able to kind of break down the ponds a little bit and kind of use what we had, right? The weather, the cold, the, the water being cold as well to kind of adjust the lures that we needed to use. And once we uh, once we hit that red color, once we hit something that kind of dove deep and, and got, to, got toward the um, bottom of the pond to where the fish would be staying, we were getting hit, you know what I mean? We, we got fish, so... It was a really good day, very productive day, and I'm super, okay, now the sun comes out. That's sick. It wouldn't come out when I was out there freezing, but now it's out now. But anyways, um, I, it was a good day, so I, I, I can't complain. I'm glad that I'm able to make a video for you guys. This is awesome. Um, I almost gave up doing one because of how pissed off I was at the, at the lake situation, but... Um, yeah, I'm not mad at Jason. I'm not mad at him. I just, I, I just, I hate that lake. I hate that lake. I've been there five times and I've, I've not caught anything. So it is not a good lake for me. It's just, I should stay away from it. But nonetheless, we came to our neighborhood pond here and yeah, we caught fish. So that's awesome. I can make a video, but guys, thank you so much. Um, I know the videos have been slow uploading. You guys know why. Um, and it, it, it sucks, but I'm, I'm getting in the process now. I'm getting into the groove of things at work, getting in the groove of things with life now so I can start making, um, making videos and hopefully getting more consistent with the uploads. And of course I will bring some of those, um, like the, the house uploads for you guys to where like I'm going over to uh, where they're building our new house and kind of showing you guys around and maybe get like some progress videos. So I, hopefully I'll be able to do that this week. I don't know. I might do it. I, there's there's some videos that I still have to get done. I'm waiting for it to get warm because I'm really excited to hit the creeks. But that's it, guys. I uh, I'm done talking. I don't really know what else. I'm just kind of excited we caught fish. So, but anyways, guys, you guys are awesome. You mean the world to me. I love y'all. And until next time, guys, get out, go fish, and I will see you all on the next video. Peace.